Good day, everyone. Welcome to Wise Link Academy. Today, you want to reproduce out um, the object you are seeing at the right corner of the screen, right? So now let's do that. This is an isometric drawing. I'll draw my horizontal line, right? Then I will draw my inclined 30 degree line. So this way, one goes this way, while the other goes um, this way, right? So my length. Is going to be 50 so I measure 50 on this point here to somewhere here is 50 right as you can see so from here to somewhere here is 50 the breadth is going to be 20 from here somewhere here is um, 20 right so automatically if I produce my height I will take them upward put this point upward right take this point here upward right and take this point Okay, I'll be having this figure. So you can see at the right corner of the screen. Next up, I'll measure my height to be 70. Why is this 70 in question? 45, I should have said 45. I will add 45 to that my radius. You are seeing that arrow indicating that radius. If I had them, I will have 70. So I'll measure 70 from this point to somewhere here. Right? As you can see what I'm doing, let me show you very well. So as you can see very well. Now let's stop. At that point, I will take it this way. Take it this way, right? Take it this way. My aim now is to what? Is to produce out the box. I said every isometry has been produced out from what? From the box. So I'll take this one this way, right? And I close it up this way. Close it up this way. I'll be having this. So this is my what? My box. Right? So now next up, what do you observe? From this point here to this point is ticking and we're ticking it. Yes, to avoid time wasting. I'm ticking this point here. It is ticking. Right? It is ticking. I'm ticking this, right? So what do you observe? They said from here to somewhere is 45. So I'm only 45 in the middle row. 45 from here. Here is 45, and I'll put the point to indicate that 45, right? At that point, I will take my set square and my t square this way, tangential to each other. I will draw a thin vertical, a thin inclined line this way, right? So, what you observe from here to here is 50, right? So, half of 50 is what 25 or 25 at this upper point here. So, from here to here is 50, you are measuring for 25. My aim is to what to get the center line. The center point for that figure here. Yeah. So let's see. Automatically, we'll be having a center at this point. So take it this way and just show you. You need to be, you need to be very, very careful in terms of creating a center. So this is my center, certain center point for this object here. You're seeing here, this rectangular figure here, yeah. right? So what you observe, you said the arc that connects this point here is what 25 radius of 25. So automatically I will draw a square of what? One side 25, 25, 25, and another 25. So I'll measure what? 50 from this point here to so somewhere here is 50. Right? So I'll take my set square, my t square, my chest square this way. I'll draw this line this way. So I'll use out what? Something like a square. Let's stop. This point and this point and this point and this point. Which is longer? This and this are longer. I will take my metal row, I join them together. Pass through my center point. Pass through my center point. That's the key. Take it, take it this way. Right? I'm having this. Next up, I will join this edge and this edge together. Right? I'm joining this edge here. Sorry. Join this edge and this edge together. You can see. I'm joining this edge. Here and this edge together. I'll be having this. Next up, I will take my compass. With the edge of my compass, I will expand it this way. I will take it at this point here. Right? I will connect it so that to push the other piece I'm doing it. Connect it this way. You can see I'm it connected this way. Right? So we're having this figure. Next up, I will come to this edge point here. I will extend my compass this way. Then I will connect it. 
automatically it's not touching um, those two points are pointed okay, this way so I'll connect it this way right I'll connect it this way so automatically from this point here to this point is ticking I'm ticking it right likewise from this point here to this point is ticking I'm ticking it now question question how can I produce all that one? The one that the arrow is touching at the back, as you can see. How will I produce that? That's very simple basic concept here. Yeah. I'll take my set square this way. Right? I will take it this way. I will from this point. I'll make a shade tangenta this. I'll draw a vertical line. Faint vertical line first. Faint one. Right? From that faint one, I'll now come to my center point. Like I mean this point here. Yeah. Right? Click it from this point. I will not draw it down. So click it this way. As you can see this way. Next up, I tick in that part here. Yeah, I tick in this place. Tick in it. So we're having this. So next up, I will close up uh, this point. So we have successfully replicate what you are seeing at the right corner of the screen to be this. If you found this video helpful, kindly click and subscribe and share to your friends and family. Thank you. Welcome to Wise Link Academy.